Hey guys, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, I'd like to do something a little bit different and show you around our indoor grow tent. So we're running a few experiments this season, just through the winter to get us through the colder months while we wait for spring. Uh, we're growing some pepper varieties and we have this new grow tent from Mars Hydro, which is new to us and we're really excited about uh, experimenting with it. So without further ado, let me get behind the camera and show you around the tent. So just starting with the tent itself, this is a Mars Hydro four foot by two foot by six foot tall grow tent. It took me about 30 minutes to assemble it. And it's a great size because you can sort of pack it away into a corner and it doesn't take up too much space. It's not all that imposing. And uh, there's plenty of space inside for you to grow lots of plants. So the first thing I'll show you is this window. You can peel back and you can kind of check on your plants, check the temperature. It's got this screen on it. The only other thing on the outside, we're using a fan to aerate the tent. We're just blowing air in from the bottom. Uh, this isn't really the intended design, but we didn't want to buy a specific fan for this purpose. And, and this seems to be working just fine. So getting inside of the tent, it's just a big long zipper. And so there are the plants. You can see they are very well lit. But first I'm gonna show you around the tent a little bit. So the entire inside of the tent is covered in this reflective material. That's just to reflect as much light back onto your plants as possible. And this is one of the air outlets. You can use this to run a fan. Uh, they make hanging fans that you can just hang and they fit perfectly in these circular outlets. Again, we don't have one of those fans and we didn't really wanna make the investment. The air coming in from our fan down below is coming out of here. You can kind of feel the air coming out while it's running. There's also this outlet, which you can use to run your electrical cables. There's an outlet up on top, which is used for an air filter. They make carbon filters if you're growing anything that might have a certain smell to it. No comment. This is another air outlet. You could put another fan here, or you could just have your fan on this side if you prefer, depending on which orientation and where you're setting up your grow tent. And this particular tent came with this hanging little basket that you can use to store nutrients or other things that you might need while you're tending to your plants. And there's another outlet. We use this for our electrical. You see, we're just running an extension cord out there. And now let's get to the grow itself. This is our light. This is a horticulture lighting group, HLG 100 V2. It's a 100 watt light and it is plenty for our little grow setup here. If you were growing bigger plants, you might need maybe two of these or a larger light, but this is a quantum board. It's a really high quality panel with quite a few LEDs you can see there. And now on to the plants themselves. So these are all pepper plants, obviously, because we are pepper geek, but uh, I'll go through. So the first plant here is a CGN 21500 bonsai plant. So we grew this plant over the last season outdoors and we decided to bring it indoors. We, we just love the peppers. They're so tasty and delicious and they're also beautiful. They ripen to this peachy color. So it's still in the process of recovering from the trauma that it underwent. You can see all of the cut marks there. Uh, definitely a very traumatic experience hacking this plant and its roots back to fit inside of this pot. Uh, but it's a really fun little experiment and I think we're gonna start getting fruits pretty soon because there are some flowers forming all over the place. So pretty exciting. And over to the right here, this is another CGN 21500. So it's the same variety of pepper. However, this one was planted just 45 days ago. So uh, 45 days and we're at this stage. It's looking really healthy. And as you can see, there are actually two plants. I'm having them sort of intertwine around each other and I'm just gonna see what happens. This is just a fun little experiment. It's a really beautiful pepper variety. You can see the foliage. Some of it is kind of purple and dark. It's really interesting. Back here, this is our winter is canning challenge, part of the pepper lovers community on Facebook. They're running this challenge just to keep the pepper lovers of the world occupied. Uh, this is a Kangstar Lemon Starburst. It's Kangstar's uh, custom cross of the Bahamian goat and the Scotch Bonnet MOA. So this plant is really vigorous. It was planted at, at the same time as that CGN down there, uh, but it's a much larger and has some really huge leaves on it. There are also two plants in there, but one of them is much smaller than the other. And ironically, the larger of the two plants actually sprouted second. So some plants are just stronger than others, I guess. So this is gonna stay in the can right up until it starts to fruit. And just we're just gonna see what happens. And 
In fact, it's already starting to produce some flowers. You can't really see them there. They're very small, but we're just gonna let this thing do its thing and uh, document the progress. So that's that. Back here, we have our hydroponic experiment. This is our first time getting into hydroponics and it's going okay. The plants are growing, but we are having some pH fluctuations in the water. So I, I keep having to lower the pH. These are two capsicum chinens varieties. One is the Zupai or the Sharpe, and the other is the yellow Naga brains. And we're, we're planning on crossbreeding these two pepper varieties, but um, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see if, if things work out. We'll try our best and keep you updated on the channel. We do have a video up on our channel about how to create these ball jar hydroponic jars. Uh, if you're interested in making something and trying it yourself at home. These tubes are connected to air stones, which sit at the bottom of each of the ball jars. And that is connected to an air pump down here, which I currently have unplugged because it's a little bit noisy. Back up here, we have our hygrometer and thermometer. It fluctuates between about 70 degrees Fahrenheit at night, all the way up to around 80 while the lights are on, uh, which is fine for peppers. And finally, we have our newest project. These are two new pepper varieties. Uh, one of them is the Santaka, which is a, sort of a, a red Japanese pepper. And then we have this blue ghost pink. And this was from Farouche Peppers on Instagram and Etsy. It's just a really interesting crossbreed. It's sort of purpley and really curled and gnarly. So excited to see what that one produces. And those were planted recently by Crystalline. And we're just currently keeping them warm and moist until they sprout. And then we'll remove the cover and allow the light to reach them. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of our indoor garden. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. And don't forget to check out peppergeek.com. We have all sorts of information about growing your own peppers, indoor or outdoor, and hot sauce reviews and pepper reviews and things like that. So check that out in the link below and thanks for watching.